What is going on guys, you know, you know, here back again with another video and today. I am reading Hell's Paradise chapter 37. We're starting volume, I think it's volume four or five, volume four or five, I think. Hold on, let me check. Are we on volume four or volume five? We're on volume five, we're on volume five. So I'm excited to start this. So let's get into it. So this is the gate to the Harai. All because you're, oh wait, it nearly took us a day to uh, to reach it, all told. All because you're slow, Santa. So where's Gabi Maru? Our prim, pr, uh, gosh, pilgrimage? Our pilgrimage brought us by a safe route. He may have come a different way. Below the edge cliff is some, is, wait guys, is where the Shoshin resides. It is unlikely that your friend entered a Harai. Four, the gate only yields to the uh, to faith and prayer. And then the gate opens. Oh yeah, and we saw this guy. I forgot about that. Wait, let me switch to one page. First of all, look at this world. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It opened. What is all this? Whoa, and the tree head comes off. <laughs> I'm impressed. You're the first humans to make it here on your own two legs. The first in the millennium, anyway. Wh what? A person? Definitely not. Bad news. <laughs> and then we got her going for... She charges at him, but he instantly grabs her by the mouth and ponytail. Well, there. No need to run away. You're not on the chopping block. Not yet. What awful strength. When did he... I understand why she chose to flee. This one is clearly nothing like the previous monsters. He's way stronger than any of us here. And yeah, we got Suragi, uh, Sir, Sir, I uh, got Suragi, I think that's her name. It's been a while since I read it. She pulls out her sword. Kindly unhand her. Oh, she stuttered. Sagirin. Oh, what a dreadful glare. Cautious is appropriate when faced with an unknown entity. Who are you? What are you? Is that Lord Tensa? You're still alive, Hoka? This one is a uh, is a Fion spirit. I think that's a Fion spirit. And Throne Fuku Jukun. He's one of them. <laughs> of course, that wouldn't kill him. Wait, of course that wouldn't kill him. Uh, it will only speed up the Aber, Aber, gosh, our Arborification, arborification, until his roots spread and he becomes a tree through and through. Oh dear. If that is heaven's will, regrettable, though at least my soul will beckon onto Horai. <laughs> um, about that. Souls that the Fu, uh, Fuku Jukun business, souls that the Fuku Jukun business, your whole religious structure, lies all of it. What? They're all lies? Lies, or rather tools to preserve order on this island, created by the Shoshai. Mere tools? For this place is a laboratory of life. Damn. Imagine you believe in a religion for so long and then just get told, oh yeah, that was all fake. <laughs> You're worthless, that was all fake. That's crazy. You and the other creatures on this island are products of experimentation, simple prototypes and trial models. And the humans who drift here, research materials when all is said and done. Tremendous, uh, tremendously useful for our manner of things. He's still grabbing her and there's, who are these guys being, popping up behind her? These ones are my Koshi, or Kiyoshi. I made them from humans. Made them from humans? Yes, ones who ventured onto the island. I just love tinkering and uh, I love I just love tinkering, and for the better or worse, this sort of nonsense. Amusing, no? Is he? No, he's sitting on a different body. But this is hardly the true utility of humans. The high quality ones are made into tan. Tan, you speak of the elixir of life? Elixir of? Oh, yes, of course. For ages now, the humans who've come uh, always prattle on about that. A medicine of the immortality and eternal youth. Uchi Muzi, Ichi Muzu, water, Toku Jinko no Kagunomi, Kagunomi, they tell us it. 
Hate to break it to you, but there's no such thing here. Tan is indispensable to us, Tencent. But ordinary humans, it only turns them into trees. Hoko and the humans in bloom are essentially immortals, yes, but they don't enjoy internal youth. One of my others is researching that, though it's far from perfected just yet. In any case, you won't find the prize of your uh, you won't find the prize you're expecting anywhere on this island. There is no elixir of life. Then, what will become of Gabi Maru? Oh, he gonna be pissed if you find that out. It's not enough to survive and return home without the elixir. He cannot acquire his sought off uh, sought after pardon. Meaning, your little journey ends here. So be a couple deers and come quietly with me, okay? Oh. The tinkerer, uh, the tinkering I've got planned for you. What the heck? What the heck? Nimpo, substitution. Oh, she used a substitution. She throws a couple knives at him. Went through his, holy shit. One went through his eye, one through his mouth. Noto Shinzo Aman Haichi. Katsuyu. She like, what the heck? No, he rolls up into a ball. No, oh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, okay, I see. The head chopped off. I thought it was a panel break. No, it looks like she chopped the head off. And she backs away. Phew. That's gotta be enough to kill the toughest monsters, yeah? What about his servants? They uh seem to be spacing out, waiting for commands from the master. Anyway, let's pull it up while we can, <laughs> of course. Sagirin, so, uh, yes, of course. Thank you for sticking up for me back there. Even though I was ready to leave you uh, behind and all, still in shock about the no elixir thing. Makes sense. But listen, top priority is our lives. As long as you're alive, you can figure out the rest later. So first, we figure out how to survive. That's my mantra. For real, now let's run. R right. You two Santa, hurry. Yes. And he regrows back his head, and like the first head is on the ground while the uh, um his neck just grows a new head. An impressive woman with makings of quality. But you got one thing wrong, my dear. The Kiyoshi, they are not my servants. Oh, they jump over to him. Oh, what they is this a double page? Oh no, it's not a double page. They expand and they explode. They are my toys. Amusing, no? Naturally, you avoided destruction, sharp eyes, or perhaps, though you've hidden it well, you could actually perceive tile. Oh, never heard of that word tile before today. Where I come from, they call it key. Cultural differences then, fascinating, but you still comprehend very, uh, so very little. Since you, come, since you come all this way, how about a primer? Wait a moment. Despite my slow start, I too am here on a job. If this concerns her life and death. Oh, we got Senta. Let's go. Let's go. Then you have to go through me. Yamada Asiman Senta, rank five. You two uh, may also have an appetite, uh, an aptitude for it, though. You, gosh, you two may also have an aptitude for it, though. Not enough to be worthy, probably. Not enough to be worth it, probably. You, the Shinobi, I will teach you how to wield Tayo. If you uh if you've the talent for it, then Buchi Jutsu. If not, you'll make for a fine quality time. And that's the end of the chapter. This was a banger. This was a banger. This is a banger. I'm excited for the next chapter. I'm about to hop into it. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, so that way you'll know when it's out. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. It doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see more of me, catch me out on Twitter at if you know you know. Until then, you know what to find you know.